Mother 3. Mother 3. It's really kind of become a joke on the internet, and even more so in the past few years, because there's always been the joke like, oh my god, where's Mother 3? When's it going to be localized? But then, in the past two years or so, there's been all these rumors and leaks, so to speak, about Mother 3 coming to the Wii U, coming to the NX, coming to the Switch, and it still hasn't happened yet. And people are just kind of giving up hope, honestly, and I don't blame them. But I am still holding on. I still have that little bit of faith. And you know what? I have a little more than a little bit because I am actually able to make a full-blown theory video on this. And I'm going to tell you why I think Mother 3 is still a real thing. It's still coming. It's coming to the Switch. And it's going to be revealed at the Nintendo World Championships in October. And here's why. Now to start, there's the fact that Earthbound Beginnings, the first legal localized version of the original Mother game back on the NES, was actually revealed at the Nintendo World Championships in 2015 when the Nintendo World Championships made their grand return from like the 90s or something. So there is that. It would be kind of romantic if Mother 3 was revealed at the next Nintendo World Championships, which again is coming this October. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Wasn't Mother 3 supposed to be on the Wii U last year? Wasn't Emily Rogers and Laura Kate Dale and all these people, weren't they saying it was supposed to be on the Wii U last year? Wasn't it going to be revealed at E3? What's going on? Now they're saying the Switch. But if they just keep on pushing these like predictions forward and forward, it just becomes less and less credible. Here's why I actually think those still hold some water. Um, I feel like Mother 3 was totally, totally intended to be on the Wii U in some form, whether it was Virtual Console or just like a digital release. Just, I, I, in some way, shape, or form, I think it was supposed to be on the Wii U. But Nintendo realized, you know, ahead of time, hey, the Wii U's dying, Mother 3 is actually a pretty substantial title, let's wait until we get our poop in a group, and let's put it on the Switch. And sure enough, the Switch is selling amazingly, it's doing so well, the games and the hardware. So, I really do think that it's still coming, they just wanted to put it on a more successful platform than the Wii U. You know, it almost reminds me of the Gematsu leak from Smash Brothers way, way back in the day, back in the days of 2014, maybe even 2013, I don't no, when the Gamatsu leak uh, came out. But that was saying that Krom from Fire Emblem Awakening was going to be a playable character in Smash Wii U and 3DS. Of course, that didn't happen, but what we did learn um, later on after the games were released that Krom was planned to be a playable character. They had him, like, you know, when they first started developing the game, they had the entire roster of characters thought out. And they were like, hmm, while they were developing, they were like, hmm, you know what, Krom's going to be too similar to Ike, let's put Robin in instead. So I think that list at one point in time of those leaked characters was true, but then as they got into development, things changed. And I think this is a very similar situation where Mother 3, at one point in time, I truly do believe was planned for the Wii U, because Nintendo knows that we want this game. And I think it was truly planned for the Wii U, just they realized, hey, we're going to make more money if we put this on a more successful console, let's wait. And let's put it on the Switch. And then there's just this crazy, crazy interview with Reggie fils himself. And I'll read it off to you what it says. Oh, so earlier today, I got asked about Mother 3. Maybe you can ask me about Metroid, he said. Look, again, I am proud as an executive with Nintendo to say that we look at all the boards and all of the comments, and we really have a good understanding of what our consumers want. And believe me, we take that to heart as we work to create content. So I have nothing to announce here, but we are aware that there are some key IP that consumers just can't wait for the next true installment in that franchise's legacy. Suffice to say, we're aware of it, and talk to me in a year, and let's look back and see what's happened. Now, in 2017, we've already gotten Metroid revealed, both for the 3DS and Metroid Prime 4 for Switch has been confirmed for development for, you know, later. 2018, maybe even 2019, who knows. But Metroid has come true. Th I mean, like, that's a very confident thing for Reggie to say. Like, you know what? Talk to me in a year and we'll see what happens. That is so damn confident. Like, you've got, like, Mother 3 has to be happening. Unless something goes ab absolutely, utterly wrong in Nintendo, within Nintendo. Th that pretty much says it right there. Mother 3 is going to happen within the next year. And when's this interview even from? This is from like January. January 13th, 
2017. Again, I'm, I'll leave the interview. I'll leave the I'll leave the what I just read on screen. I'll leave leave the entire interview. Ugh, I'm stumbling in the in the description down below for you guys to check out because holy cow, 2017 is already halfway over. You know, time's running out. So we've got another interview here from Reggie Fisme. This time it was shortly after E3. He's talking about E3, you know, the success they had this year at the 2017 E3. Um, and again, this is another kind of excerpt from what he was saying. So, and again, I'll leave this in the description down below. I'll leave what I'm reading on screen. But to be clear, we look at E3 in the here and now. Our focus is on games that are largely going to be available between now and the end of the holiday season. And when you look at that lineup, there's a strong game coming literally every month, starting tomorrow with ARMS and then Splatoon 2. Then in August is the Mario and Rabbids game, September and October with Super Mario Odyssey. I mean, we've got Metroid coming in September, so there's that. And we've got a great pace of content, and I can tell you there's more to be announced. So this is, again, after E3, so after all the big announcements, and there's still more to be announced. Could he be referring to Mother 3? He's obviously referring to something, and that combined with that past inter interview I talked about? I don't know, guys. Like, it, again, and of course, I can't forget to bring up the Robot Chicken tease from E3 2014. The whole, come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3. You guys know what I'm talking about. I would be remiss if I did a Mother 3 video, theory video, and didn't mention that. So there's always that. So finally, to recap, Earthbound Beginnings was revealed at the Nintendo World Championships in 2015. There's also the fact that Mother 3 could probably be on the Switch due to the whole, you know, making money aspect of it. It probably was on the Wii U, but it's probably coming to the Switch now. I mean, if you just think about it logically, they're going to make more money on the Switch, so they might as well wait for the Switch. There's also the fact that Mother 3 has been teased in interviews with Reggie, and there's also the fact that he has teased more games coming for 2017. And then there's also the fact that Reggie just knows that we want Mother 3. Nintendo knows that we want it. I, I think it's going to happen. I really, again, we've been waiting long enough. We've been drugged through the mud. But I do still think it's going to happen. And I think the Nintendo World Championships is a perfect time to announce it. But what do you guys think about this theory? Do you think it holds any water? Do you think it could be real or not? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. It's super, super helpful. And share this around. Share this video with other people. I want as many people watching this and I want to get as much input on this theory as possible. And again, if you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel if you've not already for more on Mother 3, hopefully, and other Nintendo goodness. Alright, peace out guys. Bye.